all right guys so now that we're finally in the new year that means that there is a bunch of new stuff coming up on the horizon in both the anime and manga territories i just want to take some time to kind of look and see what is coming up and to i guess talk about the some of the things from this list that i am most excited and looking forward to in 2022 so right now we're on anylist.co if you want to check out my um list as far as all the things that i've been watching reading um plan to watch things of that nature you can definitely check out my link in the description below it's anylist.co slash uchi games if you are looking to follow me because you can definitely follow people and whatnot so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go look in the popular this season right now because I would consider this season being, you know, a part of the 2022, what makes up a part of 2022. Um, obviously, the first big one right here, Attack on Titan, season two for the final season right here. So this actually airs, I know, on the 9th of January. But as you can see, I already have it planning because your boy is ready to go. To, I, i'm actually looking more forward to seeing how how everyone reacts rather than what i'm particularly excited about the final season just because i just hope that they adapt it correctly i'm also curious to see if they plan on changing anything because a lot of fans and i'm not gonna spoil anything so don't worry there's no spoiler warning because i'm not about to spoil anything fans that have read the manga myself included were not really um all that excited about how it ended and i'm wondering if they're gonna salvage anything like that or change anything or if they're gonna stick true to how it you know was intended and go from there so demon slayer season two for those that don't know already started and this is one that i've actually been watching so far episode six i guess is airing in about a week so five episodes at the time of this recording are currently out if you haven't watched the mugen train the infinity train movie i highly recommend going to check that out it's a very good movie um and demon slayer is pretty good overall it's um current it's relevant it's it's of the now anime right now and a lot of a lot of fans you know going across from old and new definitely show love towards demon slayer it's a beautifully done animated um show so i can't really complain about it and obviously i can't not mention it you know being something that i'm still looking forward to in 2022 you know with all things considered because you know like i said it's a great show and it's still going on in this year so i'm looking forward to seeing how far along they get in with demon slayer and i have a feeling that they could possibly wrap things up with a season three or do it in one big movie but we'll have to wait and see when we get there there's a lot of other shows that i'm either not familiar with or just not at all interested in <laughs> oh so this is looking like a soccer anime futsal boys is there really a ninjala anime wow it actually airs like soon the year is 20xx the ninja who once forged the history of japan were scattered across the country during the meiji restoration as these ninja mingled with the other clans their bloodline thinned and they gradually faded from sight the descendants of these ninja clans seeking to preserve their heritage formed the wna the world ninja association in the hope of carrying on their legacy and so it was that the wna succeeded in developing ninja gum an art which could summon forth the strength of the shinobi and yet creating the most powerful ninja gum requires the strongest of ninja dna so it was the ninjala tournament was held that the mightiest of all ninjas could be found wow that's crazy and there's actually a manga that's coming out i mean that uh that doesn't surprise me too much because there is a splatoon one as well that don't surprise me all that much i don't know if it's gonna be on anything uh subscription wise this is the first time i'm hearing about a ninjala anime but it is pretty cool that they are making one for it 
I don't know if I would count this as something I'm looking forward to, though. Let's be real. I'm just, you know, being honest. But that's something that definitely caught my attention, I'll admit. All right, so now I'm going to be checking out the upcoming stuff. So, Rising, the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. Now, I've heard about... I've heard good things about this one. I've never seen the first season, so I can't really add it to my current list of what I'm looking forward to for this year. But for whatever reason, if I end up getting around to checking out the first season of Shield Hero, then I'll suppose I'll add this one to my uh, upcoming list right here. Bubble? Sci-fi. Interesting, what's this about? I have no idea. I've never heard of this before, but this kind of caught my attention. Let me see. In a Tokyo where gravity has broken, a boy and a girl are drawn to each other. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm already getting like your name vibes. Whenever there, it is, this seems like it's about to be on some kind of romance type stuff, but it's going to be really cool. I'm not saying that romance is, you know, bad. I'm just saying like, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this video right now, probably wouldn't expect me to watch something like this but like i have watched your name and there was another one that i watched that i can't remember but it was really good so the story is set in tokyo after bubbles that broke the laws of gravity rained down upon the world cut off from the outside world tokyo has become a playground for a group of young people who have lost their families acting as a battlefield for parkour team battles as they leap from building to building Hibiki, a young ace known for his dangerous playstyle, makes a reckless move one day and plummets into the gravity-bending sea. His life is saved by Uta, a girl with mysterious powers. The pair then hear a unique sound audible only to them. Why did Uta appear before Hibiki? Their encounter leads to a revelation that will change the world. So this is going to be a coming to Netflix on April 28th, 2022. And it's screened in theaters on May 13th, so... Huh, interesting. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing that. And there's a trailer right here. I guess we could check it out real quick. So they got people that worked on Death Note that are working on this? This is from Wit Studio. Oh yo. This is actually this actually looks awesome. Bubble. I am actually yeah i'm i can with confidence say that i am looking forward to this one for sure just because you know for the stating the obvious i mean who doesn't like parkour i mean i'm not i'm not saying this is gonna be a parkour anime but it's definitely definitely gonna have some parkour to it that's definitely getting added to my list plan to watch here's here's one that i'm sure we all saw coming that we obviously have to talk about for a, a, a hot second dragon ball super superhero it's a given i've said this on the podcast the full power podcast i've said this in other videos as well i'm looking forward to this one i'm officially looking forward to it with all things considered the direction that this movie could actually go in the lack of involvement from goku and vegeta i mean there's so many different things and reasons why one should look forward to this movie it may look like it is more on the slice of life and down to earth kind of things but you know what the pacing that dragon ball super has had and not i mean not just the pacing necessarily but more so the amount of things that have happened in the story of super i think that whatever whatever this movie brings will actually give us a nice kind of a refreshing feel and i think it'll be pretty pretty awesome especially if gohan is actually you know 
gonna be one of the main focuses at least ao ashi that's another soccer anime ashito aoi is a young aspiring soccer player from the backwater town japan his hopes of getting into high school with a good soccer club are dashed when he caused an incident during a critical match for his team which results in their loss and elimination from the tournament nevertheless he catches the eye of someone important who happened to be visiting from tokyo how will things turn out for ashito this comes out in the spring so this is of course based off of a manga awashi i think it's awashi awashi it's a it's a it's a tongue not really a tongue twister it's just a little difficult to pronounce let's check out their teaser because you know if it's here we'll get a better understanding of what to expect Awashi, yep. Okay, so not gonna lie, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be terrible, but I didn't really feel any kind of like, you know, urgency that I'm like, yo, I need to see this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gave, it gave me a feeling of like, very neutral. Like, uh, yeah, like, okay sure granted i'm not to, i'm not trying to take anything away from it but obviously this has to be of some sort of worth to fans you know it must it, it's it's doing well enough in japan where it's making an anime you know what i'm saying like they're getting an anime for this show if we look at the source this has been an ongoing series since 2015 so it's on it's going on its seventh year it doesn't tell me exactly how many chapters there are but i mean seven years worth of manga that's a lot of chapters so i mean yeah good on them they're getting an anime adaptation and really good on them because not every sport anime or not every sports series i should say gets an adaptation so since i'm 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 a, a fan of the sport genre i'll add this to planning and i'll give it a i'll give it a go once it starts but i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure if this one's gonna really like kind of sweep me off my feet like haiku and kuriko done those in my opinion like ah i just it's gonna be really hard for me for for another uh series that kind of not just kind of but that 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 falls in the same genre like they, they're gonna have to really do something like either different unique or just gives me these hype feels to really feel like it is definitely like not just you know another throwaway sport anime or whatever so awashi also coming this spring strike the blood final it's an ova oh it's an etchy not pass is this a badminton anime love all play look at this the story follows ryo mizushima who was once an obscure badminton player in middle school he now strives to become a top athlete and take his high school team to the inner high tournament so this is a brand new it's not based off of anything there's no manga another one that comes out this spring hmm. oh, okay its source is a novel so yeah there's no manga but th this is based off of a novel interesting and there's a trailer as well so let's uh go ahead and check it out <laughs> いとしいんだ。今俺の中風が吹く。ラブオールプレイ。読売テレビ。日本テレビ系。土曜夕方5時30分。2022年春から放送開始。Yeah, I, I need more. 
that this was definitely not enough like like you know since sports sports genre is is of the genre that i do like a lot i'll set it as planning but i we'll see we'll see if i can actually stick with this one <laughs> Yu Gi Oh go rush oh my god do i even wanna look and see what this shit is about oh my goodness they just call it the eighth anime series in the Yu Gi Oh franchise and apparently this is an original this is not based off of anything the source is original that's what it says also starts on april wow i haven't watched any Yu-Gi-Oh anime in years as you all might know i gave up on Yu-Gi-Oh a long time ago okay i gave up on Yu-Gi-Oh back when pendulums became a thing haven't haven't turned back haven't went back since i thought synchros and exceed summons were just enough for the game you know to introduce like new stuff but as soon as the pendulum came out now there's more than just that now now i'm good i'm good all right, so let's see what's coming up in the, uh, this summer. Oh, so Dr. Stone Ryusui. That's a special. Okay, let me check this out real quick. It's a television special that is set after the second season and will center around Ryusui Nanami. Hmm. Will a season three happen? Well, there's a trailer here. Let's check it out. <laughs> カミューで船長を叩き起こす。てめえの力が必要だ。スナップ。A。戻ったぜ、ついに。世界は再び俺のものだ。ふん。任せておけ。この俺が導いてやる。<笑> 人類未到の新世界にオッケー、そう、イエーイ。よう、<笑> Oh, so season three doesn't come out till freaking next year. We just started the new year, damn it. Uh, okay, okay. So, I mean, that's cool. I, 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 I do love me some Dr. Stone, but I, I mean, I will, I will give them that they're at least giving us something in between now in the, the third, the official third season. So I'm going to definitely add this to my planning. Only thing you're waiting for is SSSS Gridman. Gridman is fire. I still need to see Dina Zenin, but that's not, that's not upcoming stuff. I don't believe. Natsue no Tune Sayonara no Deguchi. Nah. Ah! Oh, Futo P. I, how can I forget this? Shout out to Kamen Rider Double. Got to freaking watch. I have this added. Add to, oh my goodness. Planning, yes. So for those that don't know, Futo Pie is, and I think this is like the first ever Kamen Rider anime. Not a series, but an anime that they are doing and it's coming out this summer. Anime commemorating the 50th anniversary of Kamen Rider debut. <sighs> Comrade has been around since the 70s, guys. And they're now just finally coming around to making a freaking anime for it. Ridiculous. Better late than never. But this one's gonna be fire. There's no trailer, unfortunately, right now. But when there is, I'll definitely react to it once that comes out. Yes! But definitely keep your eye out on this because Comrade Double is fire. Comrade in general, pretty fire. Now, I believe after this season, this is where I'm looking at the summer stuff right now. Uh, let me look at fall oh is there a villain saga no there's not whoa okay so there's okay so a few things here a few things to take from the fall season of anime for 2022 first and foremost freaking bleach ladies and gentlemen the thousand year blood war is finally getting its anime adaptation and i cannot wait i already reacted to this if you want to see me react to this trailer 
go go to my channel and you'll see it right there unfortunately it was demonetized instantly because japan this is probably the thing i am looking forward to the most all year and that's why i'm keeping all these tabs open just so that i can remember all the things that i actually put to the side we don't know how many episodes this is just yet we just know that it's gonna start airing in october you know of course there's always the manga you guys can definitely check out the manga for sure but yo this is oh i can't well you guys have no idea man and 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 i wish i had recorded my family's reaction because when i was when i was home for my break visiting i didn't tell them that they finally officially made an, a bleach announcement i was like guys i want to show you guys something but i can't say and you can't look so i put it on the screen and my dad already knew he was like he's like oh it has to be bleach has to be bleached as soon as they saw this dude ichigo come on the screen he's like yes <laughs> So I'm, I'm super hyped for a freaking Bleach, dude. It's been a long time coming. I cannot wait. Now, To Your Eternity, this is a show that... Uh, this is a show that I was trying to watch and I never got around to it. And I don't, I, they already have a season two coming out, which is pretty dope. I'll keep that in mind, but I'm not going to open a tab for it. My Hero Academia season six... Well then. This reminds me to uh, finish five, but I, I read the manga, so... Don't worry, I already... I already probably seen what every, everything that happened from there this is one to definitely keep an eye on i'm gonna add it to my plan to watch for obvious reasons it's freaking my hero academia it speaks for itself if you don't know or if you're not watching my hero academia you really should be it is amongst the greats i feel like this is the only like superhero anime and manga that i can really think of that even exists like it's it's its presence is unique in and of itself. It's not copying anything. I feel like it's pretty original. And the story has been really, really good. And it's supposedly ending in the manga at some point. I don't know how soon, but that's been kind of talked about for a little bit now. So I noticed here that Yowamushi Pedal Limit Break, I guess they're bringing back Yowamushi. That's kind of dope. I never finished Yowamushi Pedal. I actually started, I watched like probably like the first 10 episodes. I never got back around to it, but this is a bicycle anime and um, it falls along the sports category. Uh, this is the only cycling anime that I've ever watched. But from what I watched, I enjoyed. I will definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out. But I'm not going to add it to my list just because, like I said, I never finished the first season still. But the last thing that I want to bring up for to wrap up the anime of 2022 that I'm looking forward to is this slam dunk movie because you know your boy loves his sports anime especially them basketball ones and let me tell you it was on january 7th 2021 that slam dunk creator takehiko inoue announced that the series would be receiving a new animated movie so we can probably assume that this is maybe gonna be a movie that i don't know if it's gonna just sum up the events of slam dunk or if it's gonna be something completely new you know an added story but either way i feel like i'm gonna have enough time to actually get around to checking out slam dunk and you might be thinking oh but you didn't add like you're adding this but you're not adding other ones like but no like i'm adding slam dunk because listen i respect the shit out of this series and i've never even freaking finished it i used to read the manga actually now that i think about it because they used to have this in the physical shonen jumps yes that's how old i am we used to have physical shonen jumps here in north america imagine that right everything's freaking digital now for us but back when they used to pub publish them slam dunk used to be uh a part of the series that you'd get to read like once a month i enjoyed it for what i remember it's been a long time. Let's see how long the manga actually is. 31 volumes, 276 chapters. Okay, so it's not like super long. And the anime has 101 episodes. That's pretty fair. Okay. So I don't know if they'd be able to actually like fit all 101 episodes worth of content into one movie. I'm, I'd imagine they'd have to cut a bunch of stuff out if that's the case. But if, if, if this ends up being like a continuation, 
then I'm all for that too. Yeah, I think this is all of my, what I'm looking forward to the most this year. It's pretty simple. There's only like a handful of things here. We got Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. We have Demon Slayer Season 2 that's going on right now. Uh, the Ninjala anime, just to see how that goes. This new anime called Bubble, which is basically like a parkour with some other added elements with maybe some sci-fi and whatnot in there dragon ball super superhero the movie coming out awashi which is a soccer anime love all play which is badminton dr stone ryusui this is a tv special that takes place after the second season and before the third which the third season was already confirmed to release in 2023 not this year, unfortunately, but this is at least something to feed the Dr. Stone fans. Futo Pai, which is a Kamen Rider anime. First time ever to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Kamen Rider's existence. Bleach! Okay, this one right here is the most anticipated and then slam dunk. I'm just going to end it with saying that out of everything that I am looking forward to this year, Bleach is at the number one spot. And with that, um, I'm going to now go ahead and check out manga that I might be interested in checking out for 2022 please do check that out as well after you're done watching this and i hopefully will see you in that video like share subscribe me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links will be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power take keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time